Good morning. Thank you again for stopping by my channel. I had two dreams last night. One I posted already. Uh, this one is for people that are still in preparation. My name is Dr. Tracy Summers. I ask that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Always remember that every word is not for everyone. It's our responsibility to go to the Lord and seek the counsel of the Lord pertaining to a word from God. In this dream, I had my clothes on completely and this young man that was sitting over like on a bench like. Uh, he didn't have his shirt on. He took my shoe from me. He was just laughing and playing. And then I was trying to put him on. And then he took my shoe and he tried to put it on. And then he gave it back to me and I was able to put it on. So I just truly believe that there are many of us that are prepared and our husband is not fully prepared. So it's our responsibility to go to the Lord and pray for them. So that is what I'm wanting to do today. So I want to read these scriptures to you uh, pertaining to um, this message. Uh, John 2 and 5. His mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. So that means whatever the Lord tells us to do as we prepare and as we pray for our husbands, we are to do it. John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. We know the voice of the Lord, and we are to do what he's asking us to do. And then I want to also go to uh, the Ephesians prayers. And I want to start with First Ephesians uh, chapter 1, 15 uh, through 23. Wherefore also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward, who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ, when he raised him from the dead, and set him at his, his own right hand in the heavenly places, and hath put all things under his feet, and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. So it's our responsibility to seek the counsel, the wisdom of the Lord, he will give us different things that we need to pray for our husband. He'll give us different things that we need to do for ourselves and to pray for ourselves. But God will give us the information that we need as we prepare. But it's, uh, we have to be listening. So, Father God, we thank you that we are your sheep. We hear your voice. We thank you, Father God, that whatever you tell us to do, Father God, we're able to do it. Father God, we thank you for the wisdom and the revelation and the understanding that we need to fulfill our purpose and our assignment. We thank you, Father God, that our husbands are being prepared, God. We thank you, Father God, that you will put people in their in their in their stead, in in their place around them. Put people around them, God. Secure their borders, God, with people, godly people that can help them, that can help them get them get trained so that they will be able to be a great husband. And we thank you, Father God, for this great man of God. We thank you, Father God that you're going to do a quick word, and we praise you, God, and we give you honor for it, God, because you said in your word, Psalms 138, 8, that you would perfect that which concerneth us, and you know we've been preparing. We've been waiting on you, God. So we thank you, God, for this quick word in Jesus' name. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.